Graveyards and cemeteries, the final resting place for so many souls, have long been a source of fear and fascination, and have provided the backdrop for numerous stories and films over the years. It was perhaps during the Victorian era that interest in burial sites crystallized, an overflow of the dead, body snatching, the notion of the undead in literature and spiritualism all came to public attention, and there was no more dramatic a setting for a seance than within a burial ground. Communicating with the departed and the notion that they visit the realm of the living both in physical form and by speaking to us remains of interest to this day. Well, here we'll look at five intriguing videos that reportedly show proof of the paranormal filmed within graveyards. So, as always, hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. Exploration Unknown, Lost Crete Cemetery in Tennessee. Many paranormal investigations yield at best negligible results, with any audio captured often heard as ambiguous static emanating through a spirit box. Nonetheless, there are occasions, ill but exceptional, where something announces its presence very clearly, much to the astonishment of those in attendance. This is exactly what happened to the Tennessee-based Exploration Unknown team when they visited a remote cemetery in Union County. Lost Crete Cemetery lies seven miles within a state forest and wildlife reserve. Its remote and peaceful location means that visitors are at best infrequent. The cemetery was in use between 1815 and 1943, and there once stood a small log church within its tranquil grounds. Soldiers from the War of Independence and the Civil War rest there, though many of the graves are actually unmarked and have obviously not been tended to in years. As lead investigator John and co-explorer Tim search the cemetery at night, it doesn't take long for them to hear things that begin to unsettle them. Early on, they hear a low growl. Take a listen. Did you hear that? What the heck was that? There is also something strange picked up on camera that the duo appear unaware of whilst filming. As John approaches one tombstone, a single blade of grass bends backwards before straightening itself again, whilst eerily no other vegetation moves at all meaning that it has not been merely caught in a breeze. Take a look. So I don't know guys, this is weird. But it's what's picked up next that proves so unnerving, it brings the exploration of the site to an abrupt end. After John instructs Tim not to move, next thing that can be heard is what sounds like enormous wings flapping, followed by a loud guttural screech. What the fuck was that? Just... Petrified, the duo race back to the car, with the end of the video proclaiming that they will visit the cemetery again. There is indeed a follow-up video, which is a significantly lengthier investigation, also at night, which results in some fascinating spirit box recordings, as well as perturbing John even further as to what exactly is in the cemetery. It's certainly worth watching if the first spooky visit to Lost Creek Cemetery interests you. Haunted Adventures, Strelly Hall, Nottingham. To capture an apparition on camera or film is surely the most ambition of any paranormal investigator, amateur or otherwise. It appears that this is what the Ghost Hunts UK team have managed to achieve on one of their haunted adventures Seeking the Unknown episodes filmed at Strelly Hall in 2017. Situated in the small village of Trowley, Nottinghamshire, Strelly Hall was home to the de Strelly family for over 500 years. Their presence in the area beginning with Walter de Strelly in the early 12th century and the property changing hands in 1678 after the incumbent family member Nicholas lost ownership due to amassing sizable gambling debts. The Destrellis were also instrumental in rebuilding the near adjoining church of All Saints, where many of the family members were buried in elaborate tombs. It is in the graveyard of All Saints Church, where Steve Wesson of the Ghost Hunt UK team filmed paranormal investigator Tony Smith, as he himself endeavours to capture reported activity in the vicinity. 
After a colleague reports picking up an image of a black mass near one of the graves, Tony stands in the area and films the tombs behind him. After beckoning any spirits to show themselves, Tony claims to hear noises, but nothing out of the ordinary appears to him. However, it is on Steve's camera that a spectral presence looks to move fleetingly behind an unwitting Tony. Take a look. It is very unnerving. Behind Tony. Show yourself. Come on, any spirits? Any spirits around me? Come forward. Give me a shove. Come on, make yourself known. Come on, make yourself known. Come on, make yourself known. This footage piqued the curiosity of the media, as it featured in the Daily Mail, where the ghost hunters discussed the possibility of Strelly Hall being haunted by members of the Strelly family, and the numerous victims of the plague that died in the village in the 14th and 15th centuries. In fact, it's said that Samson de Strelly funded the renovation of the church circa 1356, as a grateful gesture for living through the devastation of the Black Plague in 1348. So what do you think of the video captured by the Ghost Hunt UK team? Is this the image of a spirit? Or do you think there is a more plausible explanation? It's certainly fascinating material, and we'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Weird Texas EVP, Joe Bird Cemetery, Texas. Captain Joe Bird Cemetery in Huntsville is the largest cemetery in Texas for prisoners. With many of the bodies interred there, due to the inmates' families not being able or willing to claim them after their death. It is here that the infamous serial killers Henry Lee Lucas and Kenneth Macduff and mass murderer George Hassel are buried. In the cemetery, a paranormal team with a YouTube channel named Weird Texas EVP successfully captured a number of voice recordings on a ghost box, some of which sound eerily in tune with the surroundings. One instance of ominous sounding chatter is when Paul, the team member leading the recording session, picks up a voice which seems to be talking about murder. Take a listen. Another creepy moment is when Paul looks into a well he finds in the grounds, and a voice appears to beckon him to move nearer to it. I don't know if it ever was in use, but if it was, it is uh, apparently sealed. It looks like it might have been sealed. And um, knowing the way things were, I'm wondering if maybe someone was ever thrown down there. Just an idea. Though it is of course difficult to sometimes determine what is purely coincidental interference, or even oral pareidolia, this voice does emerge particularly clearly. The last few minutes of this short video focus on the grave of Henry Lee Lucas and Paul's attempt to converse with the killer. Some of the recordings here are less distinct, 
but it does sound disconcertingly like a voice asks, who goes there? And immediately after Paul addresses Henry, a voice snaps back with, you smell good. The final voice that gives the impression of clarity seems to say, well now I am dead, and be quiet. Take a listen. There are other voices and exclamations that can be discerned throughout the video, such as help and I'm so scared, though they seem less clear than these recordings. Of course, there is plenty of room for skepticism, but this video is free of a lot of the gimmicks that appear in others that look into the paranormal. It is filmed during the day. There are no detectable added effects, creepy music, and no overacting. The video and the reactions to the voices heard by Paul and his colleague look and sound very unrehearsed and genuine. And it is this that perhaps adds an unnervingly sense of reality and believability to what they have captured. Tony Ferguson, St. Mary's Churchyard in Hampshire. St. Mary the Virgin Church, situated in a small parish in Hampshire, is thought to date back to 850 AD, making it the 10th oldest church in the country. Though modified and added to considerably over the years, a small window and a stone with a Celtic cross on it stands within the building, both thought to date back from the 9th century, affirming its Saxon heritage. The church also attracts visitors due to its altarpiece, a painting of the Last Supper. The graveyard, which has now been in use for more than 900 years, is home to some 30,000 burials, so it's perhaps unsurprising that in such an ancient and occupied graveyard, alleged paranormal activity has reportedly occurred. In 2018, various media outlets published a video taken by local paranormal investigator Tony Ferguson. In an interview with the Daily Mail, Tony claims he doesn't instinctively look in graveyards for any supernatural activity, but in this instance was requested to do so by relatives, who when visiting family tombs in St. Mary's, had experienced a negative presence, which made them feel uncomfortable. After equipment registering fluxes in the radiating electromagnetic field were triggered, Tony turned the camera in the direction of some graves, and caught what appears to be a white, opaque apparition moving toward the camera. Take a look. In his interview with the newspaper, Tony stated that he felt a sense of validation for the feelings he had whilst visiting the churchyard when he saw the footage he'd obtained. He has interpreted the movement of the misty outline rushing toward the camera as a spirit that wishes to deter visitors from the site. Of course, people have argued that it's merely a lens flare, smoke from a cigarette, or the reflection of car headlights from the road near the church. But as the footage has not been conclusively or officially debunked, it remains a possibility that this video could portray evidence of the supernatural. What do you think? Facundo Brera, a known cemetery in Mexico. Esteban Facundo Brera is a familiar name in Mexico. He has produced and hosted several radio and TV shows, as well as appearing on a series of Big Brother and is well-renowned for his jocular irreverence. He seems an unlikely candidate for insisting that he has, in all sincerity, witnessed and committed a film to a paranormal event. But this is allegedly the case. Now, this video has been in circulation since 2005 and has been reposted to numerous websites, so there is a good chance you may be familiar with it. It is fairly low resolution, and it was filmed at night. This further reduces the quality of the recording However, as it's understandably still talked about, in no small part, due to Facundo's openly terrified reaction, we had to take a look at it. Take a look. 
Entonces sí es cosa mía. No, no estoy bien mal, güey. No seas idiota. ¿Qué es esto, güey? No está nada lógico una niña llorando en un cementerio a las 12 de la noche. Bueno, más. A la una y media. Me a escuchar. Alguien ahí. Amiga, ¿cómo te llamas? Amiga. ¡Niña! ¡Ay, no seas imbécil! ¡Te han venido de la... ¡Calvo! ¡Con lentes! ¡Calvo! ¡Venga, güey! ¡Venga, güey! ¡Por favor! This footage is thought to have been taken at Mexico's largest cemetery, the Panteón Civil de Lourdes, which is the resting place to over a million souls, with many of the graves occupied by multiple bodies due to a lack of space. As this recording was broadcast on Incognito, Batsundo's show at the time, there is of course speculation around the validity of it, but after being asked in the years since the video was released, he has insisted that it was not fake and was not a prank by his production team, as they had no idea why they would be filming near the cemetery. Fake or not, this creepy apparition continues to be unexplained, and still mesmerizes viewers 15 years after it was first shown. So that's five videos documenting potential paranormal activity within graveyards. We hope you've enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow for another creepy video.